The disappearance of a four-year-old girl in Fairfield has been a mystery since 1991. But tonight, police are taking a fresh look at the cold case after a former pastor was arrested across the country. Investigators say 83-year-old David Zanstra confessed to killing an eight-year-old girl in the 70s in a case that has haunted a Pennsylvania community. Gretchen Harrington vanished in 1975 while walking to a Bible camp run by a church where Zantra works as a pastor. Back here in the Bay Area, investigators think the arrest could be a break in the disappearance of Nikki Campbell more than 30 years ago in Fairfield. Andrea Nakano has more on the possible lead that could finally crack this cold case. Fairfield police confirm 83-year-old David Zanstra lived here in Fairfield when a young girl went missing. In fact, he lived just minutes away from the victim. This quiet Fairfield neighborhood is where four-year-old Amanda Nicole Campbell was last seen riding her bike to a friend's house. Known as Nikki, her case had a huge impact on families living in this area. I was shocked, actually. I was really shocked. This resident didn't want to be seen on camera, but remembers the day Nikki disappeared just like it was yesterday. Neighbors went knocking door to door as a community united to find the little girl. It was a big deal. It was a very big deal. If, I'm sure if you went to any neighborhood in Fairfield, you would talk to people who remembers it. Everybody was scared, you know, everybody was very protective of their children. Everybody, you know, held them a little closer, a little tighter, mm -hmm. afraid that it was in our pretty new neighborhood and mm -hmm. who was it? Fairfield investigators are now talking with authorities in Pennsylvania where the murder of eight-year-old Gretchen Harrington happened and Georgia where this man, David Zanstra, currently lives to see if he could be linked to Nikki's case. He was a pastor at the Fairfield Christian Reformed Church at the time Nikki went missing. Neighbors are hoping this could be the lead that gives a family some closure. I can't even imagine what the family must have gone through at that time and must be going through still even now to this day. This family needs closure. It's been 32 years. Yeah. They have a right to put their child to rest. We reached out to the family. We were told the mother has since moved out of the area. This age progression photo shows what Nikki would look like at age 24 if she is alive. She would be 36 years old.